All right. Hey guys, what's up? Um, welcome back to another vlog. I think we're gonna do a weekly vlog this time, you know? Switch it up a little bit. I'm trying to find where I can sit you down. Mm. It works. Okay, it's Monday. I have been working all day. I have been a very busy bee working on YouTube stuff, working on my real job. Not that this is not a real job, but you know, my nine to five job. I've just been working away. I am still in pajamas. I have just been like really cozy because it's been so windy. It's been raining. It's like the weather is insane. It's like so freezing. So I'm trying to stay as warm as I can. But yeah, I've just been working all day. About to probably wrap up work in a few hours. We are probably going to head over to Tyler's parents to use their Wi-Fi because like I said in the past vlogs, we don't have Wi-Fi yet. We're still using the mobile hotspot and the cable company does, they don't come until this Sunday. So we won't have Wi-Fi for one more week. I'm running out of my data. So we need to go over to his parents' house to use their Wi-Fi. I need to upload some videos, like send emails and things that I'm not trying to use this Wi-Fi for. So I need like real internet, like I cannot do this. So we're gonna go over to his parents' house and use their internet a little bit. We are also going to look at a potential chair. Do I have some? I don't know what that is. We're gonna go look at a chair for Tyler. So he really wants to get like a leather accent chair, which I think would also look really good for our living space. Right next to the couch, there's like a little empty area. I'll just show you. It's kind of hard to visualize. So here's the couch and there's an area right here that we want to put a chair. So obviously we don't want to put it right there because people are going to be walking in. So it's kind of an awkward area, but we think right here would look right there would be a really good spot for like a little accent chair. So he found one on Craigslist that we both like. I honestly probably have been like more picky about it than he has. Like I just have a vision for these type of things. Like when I envision something in my head, like I can't, sign off on anything else like i'm like nope this is the vision that i had only this will work and i need to be better about that but at the same time like creatively i'm like you need to like just stick with my vision i know we haven't found it yet but i know it exists and like just stick with the vision so we found something that i think we both think will work but we want to go see it so we're gonna go see that later i need to go return some stuff at macy's i need to go to ulta and pick up more the ordinary because i am out of my hyaluronic acid and we all know i can't do my skincare routine without my hyaluronic acid so i definitely need that so we're gonna go do that tyler's on a work call i think i have an amazon package Ooh. No, this is a different package. Let's do a little unboxing, a little skincare unboxing. Let's see what we've got. This is a package from Hero Cosmetics. Very excited about this. So they sent me kind of like a refill of all of the products that I literally am obsessed with. Mighty patches are freaking amazing. So we have their Invisible Plus. This is a version of the Mighty Patch, but it's just invisible. So we have one of those. I'll link all these products down below, by the way. Next is the Micro Point for blemishes. So this you use when you're like feeling a pimple come on, which is cool. So they sent a few of those. Love that. They sent another Lightning Wand. Um, this is a Pure Essential oil hmm that's cool what's that smells really good Ooh, it's potent more rescue balm more mighty patches the og my favorite and then we have some body wipes mm. no shower no water no problem I guess this is good if you're like going camping or something, you know? And then we have, what are these? Body cloth. So good for camping and stuff, I think. Cool, I'm so excited about those. You guys know. I love Hero Cosmetics, they're my favorite. Okay, I think I'm gonna have a little snack. 
continue working clean up a little later we will go and see what the chair looks like fingers crossed that we both love it what if i wake up happy and what if i wake up sad sorry if i said something something that made you mad wishing that i could call you Okay, so it's a couple days later. We are trying to figure out what rug size we need. And so this is the rug that was in my bedroom in the last place. It's super dirty. Um, but it's 8 by 10, and we're trying to figure out what size. So right now, it's a good like length this way. So this is 8. So if we do nine by 12, it'll go behind the couch a little bit because the couch stops here, which I want it to go behind the couch. But then this way is 10 and it's definitely not long enough as you can see. So if we do nine by 12, the 12 would go a little bit on each side, a little bit past it, which is perfect because you don't want the rug to be too small in comparison to all your furniture. Like I want the couch to be on it and then the rug to go a little bit behind the couch so i think 9 by 12 is perfect Perfect. okay now do we order that really expensive <laughs> uh, i'll have to show you guys the rug oh it's 11 and a half i think that works too it's what five inches yeah i'll have to show you guys the rug that i'm Six thinking inches. about yeah i think that's fine yeah all right i have really failed at vlogging this week it has just been insane crazy busy but something very exciting just happened not only drinking my beer not only do i have a pimple forming but we got a dresser finally so as you guys know i have not been able to um put my clothes away because we didn't have a dresser but we finally picked one up we just got it like about an hour ago. The girl actually sold it to me for like 20 bucks because she was trying to get rid of it. So a great steal if you ask me. Um, it's from Ikea, which I would have loved to get something that was a little bit nicer than Ikea. But honestly, it does the job. It fits perfect. And I think it's great for, for what it is. I think I'm going to eventually switch out the little knobs maybe do like some flat gold pools like kind of restoration hardware vibes just to jazz it up a little bit and then obviously i'll decorate the top with like accessories i really have to see how i want to you know do this area but here's what the dresser looks like i am about to clean it up with some all-purpose spray and that's what we're gonna do right now yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was finna write a song, but I've been hella stressed. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm hella blessed. You're staring at you on the set plane. I ain't worried about that thing, cause you got me feeling like the Wayne White in 03. Yeah, you and me, we got the heat. So bump all that anxiety. But you hit to the side of me. I feel like I'm gliding. And honestly, look, I don't want you saying that you had a better chance without you. That you wish you had made plans without me Look, I hate to make this song about me But I really wanna tell you that I still get goosebumps whenever you call When I pull up to your house in my car When we kiss you, make me sound even long When we kiss that thing, go ring, ring It is Saturday. It's like later on in the day. It's about 12.30, so I woke up ran errands went to the mall picked up some things and now we're actually getting ready to go pick up olaf so if you guys are ogs you probably remember olaf he is my old roommate's dog and we used to watch him all the time just like whenever we would miss him we would ask her like can we watch him for the weekend and so um i asked her this weekend if that if we could watch him and she said yes so we're gonna go pick him up and we're gonna take him for a hike and then I think we're gonna try and go antiquing. We tried to go to this place called Pepe's, which was closed when we originally went a few weeks back. So we're gonna try and go again today because I think they're open and just see what we can find. I think it'll be just kind of like a fun day with Olaf and then also just a fun day just seeing what we can find for the house. I need to actually put on some earrings now that I see myself. 
I am missing something. Find some earrings. I'm just gonna put on some basic hoops. I feel like I also need a necklace or am I okay? <laughs> Maybe we'll do this one. This little chain. Okay. Did I zoom in? Okay. There we go. Here's the outfit. If you guys also feel like you always see me in this jacket, it's because you do. Because I'm always literally wearing it. So I need to actually order more of these. These are like favorite kind of my favorite find from Amazon it's just like this oversized hoodie that I got in a large it's a men's size actually and I literally wear it all the time so I probably should get more colors like a black or gray or something but just wearing that over sports bra and Amazon leggings that I always wear so that's the outfit I'm gonna head out I did my eyebrows also okay off in the antique shop there are so many cute things here i feel like i am literally in heaven because there's like literally everything let me show you just have like a bunch of stuff i think over here is just like all chairs we're looking for like a side table but i'm not really seeing i have a lot of dust chairs I don't really know what's what's all this. Just chairs. Yeah, like that. Okay. Hold off. We found this really cool. Oh, sorry, Olaf. Okay, Watch out! Don't step on it. What's there? It's all like a workbench. Oh, Olaf, come here. Um, we found this really cool credenza. I'll show you guys what it looks like. You put a hold on it because it's literally perfect. So I'm gonna go back and show you over here they have like so much stuff all of their stuff is priced really well like honestly amazing prices for what it is so here's the credenza I think it looks pretty cool it's like kind of like a whitewashed wood color it has a little bit of detailing I think that looks nice here's Olaf you like it do you he doesn't have a feeling about it. Later than ever, I see us spending days together, sketching pictures up and singing songs, wondering what I did before you came along. Oh, you're just what I need. The best part of me somehow it keeps getting better. Okay, so I forgot to show you guys the chair that we ended up picking up. So this is a leather chair from West Elm. We got it from Craigslist. We ended up really liking it. We thought it gave a kind of like masculine, come chill, sit in my office type vibe. It obviously has that like light, more warm walnut leg. So we're doing a lot of like mixed wood in this house. So I just need to find something else that'll match with this wood, just like some decor item or whatever. So I'm not worried about that, um, but I really like it. It gives a little bit more of a masculine feel to our kind of like feminine, it's kind of neutral um, design. I've tried to design this place with Tyler and myself in mind, but I like that this is a little bit more masculine. It has the leather, it's worn, distressed a little bit, got some wine on it, but kind of adds to the character of the piece. It's from West Elm, like I said, but we got it off of Craigslist and it was a really good deal so this is what it looks like i forgot to actually show it to you guys um currently editing this vlog but here it is in all of its glory i think it looks really cute i waited forever but better late than now.